What's up, YouTube? Bubbles of All Cards back with another video. Um, it's been a little bit since I've been on, did a recorded video, had all the group sub stuff going on and everything else. So, um, just wanted to get on and do one tonight. Um, hope everybody's had a good week out there. It's uh, Tuesday, almost the end of March. Uh, while I'm on eBay, I might as well say, don't forget to uh, go on and get your eBay bucks before that program expires and everything. Um, but yeah, so tonight's video is something I haven't really talked about in a while. It's something I haven't done in a while, probably almost, I don't know, 10, 11 months. I, I don't know for sure. Um, but I want to do a video tonight showing some sales. Uh, I'm, I'm really getting sick of people still saying that SGC doesn't sell, um, or bashing the prices that SGC sells for, or whatever the case may be. I know some people, you know, uh, they may be struggling, but I don't know what they're selling. I don't know how they're listing it. I don't know what their prices are, any of that stuff. So... To get it out of the way, this is not a brag video on how much I've made or anything like that. I see people, I've seen uh, Step Back Sports Cards, uh, JD from our group. He did a video the other night um, showing a couple sales he made and stuff. You know, I know Elite Co. shows sales, which his stuff, you know, that dude's always moving stuff from his store. Um, I don't do this very often, but... I, again, I'm getting sick of, especially with the news today, which I'm not getting into, you know, y'all have read it, you've seen it all over Facebook or probably other YouTubers, so I'm not going to get into all the PSA crap and all that stuff, um, that's not what I'm here to talk about, but I'm hearing all these people, you know, d discussing of whether SGC is an option and saying they don't sell, and, you know, I did the video showing, trying to help people out how to approach grading with the uh, the price increase and everything, and, you know, I, I know one guy didn't mean any ill will, but, you know, I hear it all the time, well, SGC's not liquid, or, you know, you can't sell them, they just don't, they don't sell, or they don't sell for enough, whatever. Okay, I can sit here and BS you guys, but I don't like doing that. That's not what I get on here to do. So I'm going to show you numbers. And that's why I'm saying it's not a brag video. It's proof. Okay. So what you see here is my past 90 days in sales. If you look at this, it says 54 items. That's all I've sold in 90 days. This is coming from somebody that does. Not, I have an eBay store, but honestly, I don't sit down and list a lot of cards. Um... You know, I might have, if I have more than 50, it's probably going to snow because I don't, you know, I, I don't really put a whole lot up. Um, I don't even know what I have right now. Hell, I might have 50. I don't know. Uh, let me see if it'll tell me. I have 41 right now. So, you know, I, I don't list a whole lot of stuff at one time. I, I just put up a few here, put up a few there, whatever. So this is my last 90 days, shows 54 items. This total here, we're going to disregard and we're going to click this little thing because over here, the item total is what the actual item sold for. The grand total includes uh, shipping and all that stuff. So we're not going to account for that. We're going to use this 14, 149, 63. That's what we're going to focus on for the first example. So 14, 149, 63. Um, 54 items, I can tell you right now, um, I have numbers right here wrote down, because I went through and totaled it all up, and, you know, I can scroll through here and show you guys real quick, you know, you can see all the tuxes, right? So I have no reason to, to BS anybody, okay? So, go back up here. 
We have 14, 149, 63. 11 of those were not SGC. I sold um, my LeBron rookie, which was PSA. I sold a Kobe NBA 50th, which was also in a PSA. I sold the Justin Herbert silver. I had raw. So there was some big cards in there. Not messing around, you know, if you can see it there. Uh, 5730 5730 and 23 cents was not SGC out of the 14 149.63, which that comes to $8,419.40 with SGC. Um, come over here. I will bring this up, swing this over here so y'all can see it. So we got 14 149.63. Let's deduct that. 5730.23 gives you a grand total. Oops, I screwed up there. I forgot a number. All right, 141, dang it, 141, 49, 63 minus 5730.23. All right, that gives us a total of $8,419.40 of SGC cards. So as I said, it was 11 cards that were not SGC. Um, so that gives us a, a total left of 43. So we're going to take this 8,419 and we're going to divide it by 43. Voila! 195.80 a card. Now, you can see right here, these two cards showing right here are $30. Big whoop, right? I'm making almost 200 bucks a card over the course of the last 90 days. So let's go here. Let's go last month. Let's do it on a monthly breakdown. You can see here, this goes to February 1st. That's it. Okay. You see 21 cards. I have it right here. Um, This month right here was I did sell the NBA 50th Kobe. Everything else you can confirm is SGC. You can see it right there, right? So 7560, if you go here, that comes out to 7,049.89. I rounded it up $7,050. You deduct the 2250 here. Let's uh, back up here. Bring the calculator back up. So, 7,050 minus 2,250 equals $4,800 for the month of February. Uh, deduct one off of the 21, gives us 20 cards sold, divided by 20, $240 a card. Okay. In only 28 days in February, I sold almost one per day, making $240 a day selling cardboard. Not bad. I'll take it. Let's go over here. This month, my sales are a little lower. Been busy. Haven't listed much, right? Go down through here. Every card, SGC, except for that one and that one. So $70 and nine dollars okay so we're gonna go back up here we're gonna go clear this out we'll do two six 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 point eight eight minus seventy nine equals we'll take this we had two cards so it's nine left divided by nine even though I did not sell a whole lot of cards, I'm still averaging $287.54 selling SGC slabs. With two transactions right here that were $30 a piece. You know, that knocked it down quite a bit. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know. I, you can look through. Let's go back to the 90 days. Okay, we're going to look through here because I am not someone that buys high-end raw cards. To be honest with you guys, this money that has been paid out for since January 1st or whatever. Look, pack pulled, pack pulled, 
pack pulled. I bought that cheap over a year ago. Same with that. Same with that. Same with that. Same with that. This was a pack pull card. This was the card that somebody tried to get over on me. Um, they, they, I'll get into that story later. Um, a raw card. Made that. That was a trade. Pack pulled. Uh, bought that for like 10 bucks off of Beckett's Marketplace. Pack pulled. That was $30. JJ Michelle can verify. I bought that for 30 bucks off Beckett. Sold it for $325. Pack pulled, pack pulled, pack pulled, pack pulled. This was like, I don't know, 12 bucks or something. Not much. I paid like 15 I think. 10 or 15 for these Lillards. Um, this is an old card I found in a random comment box. Uh, you know, I might have paid, I don't know, 40 bucks maybe for this. Who knows? I, I don't even know. I'd have... Oh, wait. This came in a lot. That was like under 20 bucks. This was a $25 card. Um, I don't remember what I paid on that Kobe. That was $15. I bought this one night, put a bid in before I went live. Pack pulled... Uh, bought that over a year ago, probably next to nothing. Pack pulled, uh, that's a PSA. Pack pulled, another one I bought over a year ago. Um, this is probably the highest roll card I bought. I think I paid $100 for that Kobe, Bowman's Best. Uh, another Lillard, the LeBron, another Allen Iverson I probably bought in a lot. Uh, pack pulled, paid like eight bucks, I think, on John Walls. Um, that Kobe I bought at a show, that I got off Jay Michelin. Pack pulled, pack pulled. I mean, you, I, I can go down through here. None of this stuff is like anything that even if I bought it raw would have cost me a, a fortune. It's, you know, prism, optic, uh, you know, tops rookies, hoops rookies, you know, things like that, guys. It's not like I'm buying national treasures or whatever. I I, I don't know how to explain it. Um, I'm not some anomaly. I don't, you know, and, and let me keep this in mind, too. Um, this is eBay. This is only eBay. That's all this is mentioning. I'm not even getting into how much we sold at shows, how much, you know, I've had people reach out to me that's watched the YouTube video or seen us on Facebook or something and hit us up on Instagram or something and hey, said, hey, you know, hey, I I seen you had these. Are you, how much do you want for them? I made a sale last week, 470 bucks. Just a guy hit me up. I don't even know who he was. Um, You know, and then I have all this other stuff that I can still list. I don't know what y'all do for a living. Some of y'all are probably way more financially set than I am. Um, my job doesn't pay near as much as I probably should get. So I'm not going to sit here and complain about making 8000 well, $8,000, almost $8,500 off of SGC cards or SGC slabs in, in three months. Or 14000 overall selling cardboard. I'm not going to complain about that, guys. This is a hobby. This money goes back into buying things for our collection. Um, wax that we rip, you know, whatever. Um, I, I don't know what to say anymore. It. I can't do anything else but show you on numbers. Um, you know, if there's any way I can help. Please let me know. Um, trust me, I'm not a magician. Uh, I list my cards. I price them at competitive pricing. I price them fairly. I also, one thing that I do, again, most of the stuff's pack pulled. I don't have to get $1,000 for a card that might have cost me 2 bucks, If that, pulling it out of a pack, you know? So... Anyway, guys, I, I'm just kind of rambling, I guess, at this point, because there's really nothing else to say. Um, it's not hard. It, it's really not. 
It's not hard to have fun. You're not I, if you're wanting to get rich and retire on cardboard, then you know you got different goals than I do. Um, I'm here to enjoy this hobby, sell stuff I don't want, buy things I do, buy packs, buy boxes, buy stuff for my PC, whatever the case may be. I'm not paying my bills with this. I'm, my family doesn't, you know, their their dependency on eating or not eating or having a roof over their head isn't dependent on this. This isn't my job. Um, this is my hobby. And I don't know many hobbies that you can make that kind of money in three months. Period. Um, so, anyway guys, I hope this, you enjoyed this video. I'm sure it's not going to be receptive well by many, but that is fine. Thumbs up, thumbs down, either way you watched it. Uh, hit that subscribe, the like button, uh, to share it around, or the share button. You ain't even, you know, if you don't like it, you don't like it. It is what it is. But, um, if you're seriously just wondering, you know, if you're having issues, feel free to hit me up, man. I can't answer all the questions, but maybe I could look at something and help you out. I don't know. Um, but anyway, guys, I hope you all have a great evening. And uh, hope the week has gone well and will continue to go well. But as always, stay safe, stay healthy. And until the next video, I'm out.